Yeah, yeah. So we recently released uh, two two new models, Command R and Command R Plus. Uh, they're similar from the same model family. We just have one that's bigger and one that's smaller. Um, they're particularly good at multilingual retrieval, augmented generation, and tool use. Those mm -hmm. are kind of the things we we went after. Um, we've open sourced the weights, and they're available on on a bunch of the cloud providers. So if you're a builder. I encourage you to download the weights, try it out yourself, try it out on our platform. If you're in an enterprise, try it out on whatever cloud provider you're working with. Uh, they're really good at, yeah, they're, they're really good at real world problems. If I had to pick one out of the three, I think retrieval augmented generation is, is, is the most exciting. I think, I mean, people talk about hallucinations in language models a lot. Hallucination in a language model is when you, you ask it a question and it writes something that is not true, right? It writes mm -hmm. something that you, that you isn't, isn't based on your view of the world. I, I don't really like the term hallucination because it implies that there's something the model can do that isn't hallucinate. But really, all large language models do on their own is hallucinate. It just so happens that sometimes that hallucination lines up with, what we, with, with how the world is. Hmm. But that's kind of a fundamental issue. So we've trained our models to instead of just being good at memorizing facts that you know go out of date or that change or something, we've trained them to be really good at taking relevant information and answering based on those things and providing citations so you know where it got that answer. So that's I think that like addresses this fundamental issue. Now you can get a language model as an interface into some external source of truth rather than relying on the internal uh, memory and weights of that model. Yeah.